The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. I am going to display the holiness of my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, which you have profaned among them. And the nations will know that I am Yahweh, declares the Lord Yahweh, when in you I display my holiness before their eyes. For I shall take you from among the nations and gather you back from all the countries and bring you home to your own country. I shall pour clean water over you and you will be cleansed. I shall cleanse you of all your filth and of all your foul idols. I shall give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I shall remove from you a heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh instead. I shall put my spirit in you and make you keep my laws and respect and practice my judgments. You will live in the country which I gave your ancestors. You will be my people and I shall be your God. And our response is taken from Psalm 51. Lord, give me back the joy of your salvation. Sustain in me a generous spirit. I shall teach the wicked your paths and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from bloodshed, God, God of my salvation, and my tongue will acclaim your saving justice. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will speak out your praise. In your graciousness, do good to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in upright sacrifices, burnt offerings, and whole oblations and young bulls will be offered on your altar. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to St. Matthew. Jesus began to speak to them in parables once again. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a feast for his son's wedding. He sent his servants to call those who had been invited, but they would not come. Next, he sent some more servants with these words. Tell those who have been invited Look, my banquet is all prepared. My oxen and fattened cattle have been slaughtered. Everything is ready. Come to the wedding. But they were not interested. One went off to his farm, another to his business, and the rest seized his servants, maltreated them, and killed them. The king was furious. He dispatched his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burnt their town. Then he said to his servants, the wedding is ready. But as those who were invited proved to be unworthy, go to the main crossroads and invite everyone you can find to come to the wedding. So these servants went out onto the roads and they collected together everyone they could find, bad and good alike. And the wedding hall was filled with guests. When the king came to look at the guests, he noticed one man who was not wearing a wedding garment. And he said to him, how did you get in here, my friend, without a wedding garment? And the man was silent. Then the king said to the attendants, bind him hand and foot and throw him into the darkness outside where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. For many are invited, but not all are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord.